Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Monday, January 16th, Cycle Day D. Good morning. I'm Eric. And I'm Allie. Any middle school or high school student interested in participating in the Daily Americans Design and Ad Contest can sign up in the art room. Eight artists are needed by Friday, January 20th in order to participate. See Ms. Brodish or Mr. Campbell for details. Seniors, please place your name on the back of your baby picture that you will return in the white envelope that was given to you on Thursday. At the district chorus auditions last week, Jake Dreisel was fourth chair in base two. Dale Strelitz was eighth chair in base two. Congratulations to you both and good luck at the event. Today in sports, the girls JV and varsity basketball teams take on Berlin at home. Best of luck. Today for lunch, we are having cheeseburger, french fries, seasoned peas, diced pears, 100% fruit juice, and corn chips. Thanks, Thanks and have, have a nice, nice Monday. Monday. Good morning, everyone. This is Mr. Lucas with a quick update on our upcoming midterms. I uh, wanted to let all of you know and be aware of uh, the changes in schedule that will coincide with our midterms as well as uh, give you some information on our preparation for our move back to our new building. Uh, our midterms this year are going to run on January 24th and January 25th. Uh, as you'll see in a moment, a schedule will, will appear. All students are required to attend on each day. And uh, students who have uh, GJCTC classes uh, will have a separate special schedule that you can also again see on the schedule that will display. Uh, we will dismiss at 1230 each of the those two days uh, on the 24th and the 25th. Uh, students will have a final in any semester classes, a midterm in any year-long classes, and then in any quarterly classes or electives you'll have your quarterly evaluation. So there will be some form of evaluation every class. There is no such thing as a class that does not have a, a midterm final or a quarterly evaluation. Uh, so again, attendance is expected. In addition, you may have heard the good news that was released recently that our uh, return to our building will be on February the 16th. I plan to provide you with another video and a great deal of information regarding uh, changes to our schedule relative to that, as well as the actions that we will take to prepare to go back to our building, as well as be prepared for uh, our first days there, as our building has changed a great deal from uh, when we left it a year ago. Um, but I bet information is more to come. But again, look forward to it, uh, you know, on February the 16th. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing my Steelers jersey, so this is taped on Sunday. And everybody say go Steelers, and hopefully that we're talking about them playing again next week and uh, not being done whenever this video plays. So go Steelers. Thanks, and have a great day. Good morning, I'm Bailey with your daily weather forecast. Today is going to be cloudy with a high of 36 and a low of 34. Tomorrow and Wednesday are looking to be rainy, but things will brighten up on Thursday. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. The University of South Florida is located in Tampa, Florida. It costs $17,000 a year to attend from out of state. USF has 50,000 students enrolled at a 48% acceptance rate. Popular majors at the University of South Florida include psychology, nursing, and criminology. The Bulls have a Division I football, basketball, and sailing team. Chucky e. Atkins and Hulk Hogan are both University of South Florida alumni. Today's were the days in Greciate. To ingratiate is to make obvious efforts to gain someone's favor. In other words, to kiss up to someone. Thanks and have a great day.